Welcome back, giant pumpkin people. Normally, we're not this quick on our updates, but Houston, we have a giant pumpkin problem. So, what's the problem, right? If you've heard me talk in the past, there's good problems to have when you're coming to giant pumpkins and bad problems. Bad problems are what we've had in the past. We haven't had this year, but where the leaves get some disease on it, they're falling over. Obviously, right now, we don't have that problem, as we've been talking about. It hasn't showed up just yet, but we're middle of July. It can definitely turn on a dime. But that's not the problem we have today. The problem is with this girl. And it, we had a request that it was really hard to tell how big these are, which is understandable. Uh, it's hard to see exactly how big a pumpkin is on camera. So that's why we've always used our beer bottle. I don't know why I didn't add it this year, but there you go. There's the beer bottle compared to the pumpkin. So as you can see, she's big. She isn't done growing. That's our issue. So Kate, come on over here. We're gonna show them what we got going on. This is a common problem that a lot of giant pumpkin growers have when they're growing the monsters. The pumpkin itself, and you can show it here, Kate, it grows so big, but it grows every which way, every single direction. Ours is falling over the front a little bit. Kate's gonna show you. It's an odd grower, right? So look down here, Kate, you can see. It's still, the stem is pointing down. We're gonna try to move the pumpkin today. And you can see the vine right here, it's coming. Was well, shoving the vine this way and it's shoving it down this way. Not good, not what we want. So what we need to do is relieve the stress on this before it gets worse. Right now it's not horrible, but it's gonna probably get worse. All right, so what are we gonna do? Well, we got our, pump, uh, our uh, pickup truck parked right out there. We're going to get straps around this girl and we're gonna try to pull her this way I thought about just doing it with my tarp but really I almost need to like somehow move the pumpkin itself and try to get some sand underneath of it I don't know don't like doing this type of stuff but it is what it is we need to try to move this girl out of the way so check back here in a little bit and well I guess not in a little bit but the next time you see the video we're gonna cut it here and hopefully we'll have a strap apparatus set up hopefully we're able to pull this girl see you here in just a second yep bye all right so here we are we got it hooked up pickups out there got our straps hooked on to the pumpkin right here we got it wrapped around we got it Secured. We got some bungees, we got some noodles from Cool to help support it so it doesn't hurt its tender skin. We got this coming around here, we got that coming around there. Everything looks good, Kay. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. You nervous? Oh, yeah, I'm very nervous. There we go. So we tighten that up, and then we just got it. Whoa. Real slow. I saw it budge. So he saw it budge, he said. Yep, I saw it budge again. Okay. Hopefully the people on camera saw that. See it budge a little bit. Yep, when you, whenever you crank it, it budges a little bit. Oh yeah, there one again. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's moving. It's moving, he says. Oh yeah, we're starting to relieve some tension now. But I think it needs more. What do you think, Kate? Yeah, I think it needs more. I think you're right. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Yeah, I see it. She's really moving. Did you see that? It's not a light pumpkin, that's for sure. I can feel. Yeah. It's moving. But let me still. Uh, can I get sand underneath there? I doubt it. Maybe a little. It's 
see how many more cranks I got on this. We're probably going to have to redo it. Let's see. Can you watch it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I saw it. I saw it like move. Oh, yeah. You're scooting it. Oh, yeah. It's moving? Yeah, you're scooting it. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Yeah, we're leaving. We're leaving tension. Oh, yeah. You can move it now. Yeah, the vibes get better, but it's still, still isn't probably enough, I would guess, right? A few more cranks, I think. But I don't like this. One bit. This is not what I consider fun. Oh, yeah. Very nerve wracking. One little click at a time. Oh yeah, I see it moving pretty good, like a centimeter each time or yeah. something. Oh yeah, we relieved a lot of tension. A lot of tension. All right, now I'm gonna put a little sand underneath of it. Probably call it good for now, I don't know. Maybe yeah. one or two more cranks. Oh no. There we go. Looking good. Thumbs up if you like the pumpkin move. See you guys. Bye. Okay, we said goodbye, but I lied. I wanted to show you, forgot to show you, what we were able to accomplish. And see, it all looks good. Looks the same. This mark was from earlier. Right there, that was from a long time ago. So here it is. You can see the stem now is more straight. I mean, the main vine is more straight. This one comes back here a lot straighter see more of the stem now it's not quite it's not growing down nearly as much that little uh, pool tube that I have in there pool uh, thing is uh it was really tight push it up hard on the stem now there's no stem pressure so right now it looks great but what's this gonna do in the next friggin two weeks I don't know. Still not liking how it's pushing down there. Probably gonna be forcing me to move this thing when it's about 12, 13, 14, 1500 pounds. Not gonna be fun. It wasn't fun this time. Really not gonna be fun. But we've got her. Hopefully you like this. Give me a thumbs up if I did okay. See ya.